Hello everyone, today in this video we will be discussing the fifth lab program which is artificial neural networks by implementing back propagation algorithm. We will be seeing what the back propagation algorithm is and how do you remember the code. Okay, there is a super trick for it. So stay tuned till the end of this video. So before starting, if you like this video, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and support helping me make more videos like this. <clears throat> So see what is back propagation is you have some uh, values okay the input values you have and by using those input values you are predicting the output values okay so uh, you'll be having some expected output values so uh, if the value which you inputted here and based on some weights you calculate the hidden layer then you finally get to the output layer and you get some value if that value is not matching the output layer you again go back and set the weights again weights means the uh, relevancy okay so you'll set the relevancies again and again you will try to get the uh, output which is expected if you get the output which is expected because of setting the weights then your uh, algorithm is done until that it will keep on iterating and it happens a very long uh, time and it the iteration numbers are in thousands okay so uh, how do you remember the code for it so the code for it is first step is set the parameters so uh, go with me you'll be uh, able to easily remember the code okay so first is setting the parameters. Firstly, there is the whole code. 45 lines are there. So let's uh, start from here. Import numpy is mp, np, okay? Because numpy is the thing which is uh, dealing with the various things, right? So you have to uh, then set the parameters. Input neurons, hidden layer neurons, output neurons, and iterations. These four things should be set, okay? What is this? Input neurons, hidden layer neurons, and output neurons. The circles you can see are the input neurons, and the, this is the hidden layer neurons, this is the output layer neurons. In this image, only two should be there as if we consider the question. So anyways, you got the point, right? How many neurons are there in input, output, and uh, hidden layer? Those three things will be set here, and the iterations means how many times it should go back and forth. That is set as 6,000. Then you are setting the input values. Input values means what are the values present in this circle, this circle, this circle, output values and the hidden layer values, all those are getting set here. Input values are getting set here, output values are getting set here, hidden layer values are getting set here. After that is set, we have to set the weights and the bias. Bias means how much you want to favor a particular node. That also you can set and the weights also set for each of these nodes. If you go from here to here, what is the weight like that? Okay, the address values. All those two things are set, which is the bias and the weights values. So half of the part of the code is done. You input uh, parameters are set, output hidden parameters are set, and the hidden bias and weights are uh, set here. Input, output, and hidden bias weights. Now only the for, lo for loop is left. If you are uh, done with the for loop, the code is over. So what is in the for loop? Let's have a look at that. Before that, you have to define two things which are most frequently used, which is sigmoid and the gradient. This is the formula, one uh, divided by one plus np into exponential minus uh, layer. And gradient is layer into one minus layer. Okay, these two things, small codes you can easily write in between. After that, you have to start the for loop. When this for loop is done, the code is over. In this for loop, you'll get, get to the end here. If i is less than 50, the iteration number is less than 50, or it is greater than uh, iteration minus 50. If it is in this range, we'll be outputting this thing. Okay. Now, what is it getting outputting is iteration number and the error present. Okay. Iteration number and the error uh, present. Because obviously, in the first trail, when we go, we mostly don't get the correct answer. There will be some error in the output. For example, if I expected one here, I got 0 0.9. What's the error? 1 minus 0 0.9. That is 0 0.1, right? That's the error. So in each case from here i will get error 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 all uh, errors i will get okay what is the errors the total error absolute uh, average value that i will be outputting here same way what is the output layer output layer means what are the values i got that i'll be outputting okay let's have a look at the output um, format in iteration 0 i got 0 0.0699 and here minus 0 0.96 okay and my out output is 0 0.93 and these are the error values okay this much error is there this much error is there here this is my output value and output value actually what i should get here is here I got 0 0.93, here I got 0 0.96. But what I expect my output that I have specified here, my expected output should be 1 and 0. I should get 1 and 0, that is my expected output. But I got here close to 1, but here it is not close to 0. Okay, so that again I have to go back and change the weights. Like that, I'll be keep on doing. Okay. So that's what's in the uh, that's what's happening in the for loop. So you have to remember a few steps here. Now since this part is done, I will not test this part again. I will be coming and uh, explaining you what's happening in these four steps. In these four steps, this is happening. First, you will set the hidden and output. You will set the hidden and output. Okay, because input is already set. You have to make changes in the hidden. Okay, and the output also will be set. Hidden layer np dot dot hidden layer sigmoid these two things you'll set for hidden same goes for the output layer also you'll set some weights and bias here and np dot dot and sigmoid these two is then this is setting of hidden and the output next what is our step so get the error first set the hidden input then try and iterate get the error then calculate gradient gradient means how much correction should be done then do the correction 
do something get your mistakes clarify it again uh, update your uh, skills like that it is okay so here i is calculated and gradient is uh, done here and uh, after the gradient is done you will be uh, updating the uh, weights here and uh, this iteration happens until we get the expected outputs or near to the expected output so let's have a look at uh, the 6000 iteration in the 6000 iteration the error is very very less here as well as very very less here and the values are very close to 1 here and very close to 0 here right so that's what uh, we'll be trying to do here and um, that's about the code don't worry about what are written in these parts here okay this you have to write and memorize okay keep writing keep writing you'll get to know i just have to i just give you the key points of how do you remember these kinds of things okay if you get these things if you memorize these inner uh, things it will be very simple for you to write the code um, totally okay so make sure you hit the like button subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one